What's good you guys, so part 2 of the whiteboard series is up I'm gonna be explaining all about Macronutrients, so stay tuned So as you guys might know, macronutrients are divided in 3 pieces So proteins, carbohydrates and fats So fats and proteins are very essential for the human body so you cannot live without them and carbohydrates ain't but that doesn't mean when you're into fitness and building lean muscle tissue that carbohydrates ain't important the carbs are by far the most important for either maintaining or gaining lean muscle tissue they're the main source of energy which your body uses as fuel to fuel up your workouts so someone who's working out simply cannot function properly without carbohydrates all those myths you heard about carbohydrates that they make you fat it's all lies so when you're counting your calories you simply need to know how much is the value of each macronutrient so proteins are 4 calories per gram carbohydrates as well and fats are very nutrient dense so they're non calories per gram that's why I usually advise people who cannot gain weight very easily to focus more on fats because they don't fill you up that much and you can gain weight very easily with them and when I'm calculating my calories I like to calculate proteins with body weight and carbohydrates and fats more in percentages so as I said there are two options you can be in you can either be in a dieting phase or a gaining phase so that's gonna determine the ratio of your macronutrients which one to subtract from, which one to add on so just for an example, when you're dieting 15 to 25 percent of your total calorie intake of the day should be from fats 1 to 1.4 grams per pound of body weight you simply need to increase your proteins a little bit more when you're dieting just to preserve that loss of lean muscle tissue and the rest of the calories are gonna go into carbohydrates which is majority of them like 50% or more so when you're gaining phases you don't need as much protein as when you're dieting but you can then transition those proteins into fats so 20 to 30% of fats is gonna be from a daily calorie intake and once again rest is into carbohydrates then just an example I'm gonna show you with my daily calorie intake of 3000 calories how I will set up my macronutrients and calories if I was in a gaining phase or in a fat loss phase also this time I prepared the numbers so I don't have to calculate it in my head because I fucking hate math I mean let's be honest who likes it so as I said 3000 calories is my maintenance and if I were to lean gain I would add up only 200 calories which will slowly and gradually increase my weight so I don't end up getting too much fat but actually build lean muscle tissue so in total it's gonna be 3200 calories so since I'm currently at around 200 215 pounds 200 grams of protein is more than enough for me if I'm in a lean gaining phase then 90 grams of fats is around 20 to 30 percent of my total calorie intake I took like 25 percent and the rest of them is into carbohydrates as you can see 800 calories is from proteins uh, same again 800 from fats and 1600 from carbohydrates so in this case carbohydrates make up 50 percent of my total calorie intake during the day so as I said you guys it doesn't make you fat carbohydrates are well needed to fuel up your workouts so if I were to diet I would bump up my protein just a little bit more but I would subtract that from the fats so my fats would be around 20% which is around 55 grams 225 grams of protein and once again the rest is filled up in carbohydrates once again carbohydrates make up the majority of my total daily calorie intake because they're by far the most important when you're physically active so based off of these macronutrients people nowadays form different types of diets as you all heard like there's high carb diet there's also like keto diet which I'm not a big believer in especially if you're a lifter uh, where you cut out all your carbs as I said like you need carbohydrates to fill up your workouts keto is only optimal for people who are not physically active that much like who live a sedentary lifestyle and just want to have a healthy life 
but don't train. They don't lift weights. They don't aim on adding lean muscle tissue. It's either that or the people who are very old, like maybe above 60 years old. So they don't do as much physical work as we younger people do. So they can add more fats and less carbohydrates. But overall, keto is something just just a trend it's currently active it's currently popular but believe me in a few years it's gonna die out just like any other trend so yeah that's literally all you need to know about macronutrients in detail also not to forget to mention i'll be explaining a bit about fiber because it's very important for your gut health and without an adequate amount of fiber during the day you can get constipated and uh, overall bloated so fiber can help you a lot with digestion so easily explained which i like to follow always is 10 grams per 1000 calories so each 1000 calories you consume during the day you can consume 10 grams of fiber it's gonna also vary if you're a male or a female a general rule of thumb you can follow is around 25 grams minimum for male and females around 20 grams so yeah 25 for male 20 for female so yeah guys that's literally all you need to know about macronutrients in the next clips in the next video i'll be most probably explaining more in detail stuff like refeeds and stuff like that so if you found the video very helpful I would appreciate you like it, subscribe if you haven't yet, leave a comment down below if you have any type of questions I'll be answering for sure and turn the post notifications on so you don't miss out on the next video. Until next time, stay shredded.